Hello. So today we will be reviewing the Celti Paco Bird. And here is my buddy Callie. And then I also have another green cheek and his name is Gizmo, but he's just chilling over there. I have actually owned the Paco Bird for exactly one year now. I had bought it in November of 2019. It was a big purchase. I was looking to buy this bag because I was just looking for a backpack that I could bring. Um, at the time I only had Callie, so bring my one bird around with. And I wanted something that was comfortable uh, for both the bird and for me. I don't know, like something that was comfortable and easy to use and that I could clean easily. Cause as you know, like bird poop everywhere. And I did a bunch of research online and I found that there's actually not a lot of options out there. There's a lot of stuff on Amazon for cheaper that is essentially like a cat or a dog backpack that's re-outfitted for birds, but those weren't really good and I did actually end up trying one of them. They were only like 30 to $50, but I did find that um, my birds would get overheated very easily. And so those are the ones that are backpacks and they have like the clear cover and there's just not a lot of like good privacy space for the birds. And so I, I think they're a good budget option, but not really the best. But anyways, I did all my research, found the Celti. Celti has a couple options, but their two main backpack options are either the Paco Bird or the GoGo. -Go. I decided to take the plunge and it was very difficult to decide to do it because this thing is very expensive. It is $235. Um, but I really do think that it is worth it if you can afford it and if you think that this is something that you will use. And I will just go through sort of like all the features and why I think it's worth $235, which is a lot of money. So hopefully this will help you in your purchasing experience. And once again, I've had this bag for a year now and even a year later, I, I really think it's worth it. This is what the bag looks like. These are the sides. There's some mesh detailing and there's a covering right here. And I think what I really like about this bag is just that it's very comfortable to carry whether you carry it on the side or on the back, like a backpack. So you can see that this is a top strap for side carrying. And then these are the two straps in the back. And just all around, you can see that there is a mesh, sort of like a steel mesh, a metal mesh. And as you can see, there's flaps on all the sides, so I can cover the sides or roll it up. So I have it rolled up on this side. And then also just with the front covered or rolled up. But what I really like about this design is that it helps the birds be able to like see through the mesh yet they can get a lot of privacy let me show you the inside of the bag all i had to do is unzip and this is the inside of the bag there are it comes with these two rings for the little metal cups i realize now that i don't have the cups on me so i'll go grab it but there's also a wooden perch on the inside and a plastic bottom that is removable by velcro and actually what I like to do is I just take um, two sheets of paper towel and lay on the inside for easy cleanup. These are the two metal cups that it comes with and it's very easy. What you do is you just put them here and then you sort of twist them and they lock into place and won't come out. So they just have these little dents on the side that help you twist them in place. I'll put water on one side and then I'll put food on the other side. And this is how I line it. So I just use two sheets of paper towel or like four half sheets, fold it in half so it's double layered. And then I just place it on the bottom like so, and it fits pretty well. And I will actually show you um, how Callie and Gizmo fit in it. So there are two green cheek conures and they actually adapted to this bag really well. There wasn't really a learning period for them. And I don't know, uh, they just seem really comfortable. And I, like I mentioned, I did buy one of the budget bags earlier and 
they both hated it and they you could just tell they were very stressed and tense in those bags and so I I think ultimately what makes the cell tie paco bird really worth it for me is that I can just tell that both of my birds are very comfortable in it and another thing is that so the carrier actually has hooks on the inside so you could attach like little toys and stuff but I do find that when I'm carrying it and walking around that the toys swing a lot and actually end up hitting the birds and so I usually just keep it bare um but yeah and usually for both of them they have so much enjoyment just seeing their around surroundings and just seeing the view outside of the car that they don't really get bored so this is Gizmo he is the playful one but basically And this is the Paco Bird in Olive in the size small. I think the size small is really good for green cheeks. I did consider um, getting a extra small, but then I realized that small is good so that their tail still sort of, sort of has like space to move around. But yeah, this little gizmo chilling. Oh, he seems pretty happy in there. <laughs> now he's climbing around. Hey, gizmo. All right, so now, as you can see, this is sort of the sizing of them chilling in here. Um, let me actually put both of them in with the door closed so you can see what that looks like. They're a little bit unhappy with me because they're like, why did you put me in here? But as you can see, the two of them are in there pretty comfortably. They're just sort of chilling. So I really like how they are in there. They are comfortable but there's still a lot of privacy like it's pretty hard for you to see that they're in there overall one year later i really love this bag and i think it's really great if you're in the market for a backpack to bring your birds around um i have traveled on the airplane with this bag and so it's a little bit bigger than the like FAA approved travel carrier, but I do find that I was able to squeeze it under and I've been on three flights with them now and it's great because you can cover them on all sides and, and yeah, they just sort of take a nap when they're on the plane. I've taken this backpack on multiple flights with me. I've also just taken it outside for walks and we even used it on a road trip. Um, we went on a one month long road trip with our birds and this is what we kept them in, in the car or outside um, whenever they needed to be inside. And then when they didn't need to, we sort of just opened it and they would just chill on the inside. Um, but I do, I just really love how this is able to keep our birds comfortable. Uh, I think just in terms of privacy and feeling safe as well as uh, keeping them cool because on this road trip, they were actually in temperatures between, I think the lowest at night was maybe like 30 degrees all the way up to like 110 degrees in the desert. And with this bag, we were able to keep them in here to sleep in the car covered like with a sleeping bag to keep warm, as well as bring them outside um, on hikes in 100 degree weather granted we only took them out for maybe like 10 or 15 minutes so they wouldn't get overheated but we were able to keep them shaded and you could just you know pull down the front so it's super shaded and then just have the sides open so that they can see and just kind of like explore the outdoors which is something that i realized that um both my birds really enjoy doing but if you want to see, um, I do have some videos on this channel of our road trip, our one month long road trip, where we brought them in this bag as well as trying out a couple different carriers. But yeah, overall, I think it's great. I will say, as you notice, Callie's sort of like chewing on the bag. If you have a bird that is a big chewer, I know that you can kind of buy an upgraded version where they add some plastic sidings on it to help prevent wear and tear from chew. Um, but it will, I think if you have a bigger parrot that does chew a lot, granted my birds don't, I don't think they're very big chewers for parrots, but I could see the durability of this bag being affected by big chewers. The crazy thing is, is that earlier this year, I was actually considering buying a second one. And I think that is what really shows like, 
this was a worthy purchase because I was crazy enough to think that I was going to buy another $235 bag. But the reason was because earlier this year when I first got Gizmo, Gizmo and Cali weren't getting along. And so I thought I needed two bags to keep them separate since they were literally attacking each other. But now they're really good friends and I can actually put both of them in the carrier super comfortably and they get along. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the bag and I do think it's expensive, but I think it's worth the price considering that it is very well designed for birds and for your comfort as an owner carrying it. Thank you for watching this review. Hopefully it sort of helps you make your decision on whether or not this is the right bag for you. It definitely was the right bag for us and it is one of my favorite accessories that I have for them. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.